Russia, Russia, Russia became targeting Americans, Americans, Americans and suppressing their First Amendment freedoms. When I've been talking about the First Amendment and the government threats to the First Amendment, and we just uncovered documents from the Department of Homeland Security and one of the worst new agencies out there called the Cyber Security and Infrastructure Security Agency, CISA. And CISA was developed in a panicked way after the 2016 election. Weak-minded folks in the Trump administration set it up in response to the fake allegations of Russia collusion by pretending the Russians actually had an impact on the election and that there was a serious threat. We needed to have this CISA operation to protect us against foreigners. The whole basis of it is a political overreaction to the war, to the Russia, Russia, Russia scandal. And sure enough, around 2020, they began working on suppressing content, not just about foreign interference or stopping foreign interference, allegedly, but stopping Americans from commenting. And there was this massive censorship infrastructure that CISA helped put together and was intimately involved in targeting Americans. So Russia, Russia, Russia became targeting Americans, Americans, Americans and suppressing their First Amendment freedoms. So we have a number of requests and lawsuits over CISA, including there was interesting information about threats to our electric, um, electricity infrastructure. And um, tying it to domestic extremism and such. And we wanted to know what was going on over there at the Department of Homeland Security. And in response, they gave us these FOIA documents that showed that CISA was in investigating these alleged threats to our electric infrastructure was basically just going through people's Twitter accounts and drawing conclusions or non-conclusions about their politics as it relates to this electrical infrastructure threat. I mean, that's, that's the sum total of it. As a follow-up, this is one email we received at the end of December, from the end of December 2020. In light of both recent and upcoming events, there is a request for unclassified information from DHS CISA that can be shared with utility members in the U.S. and Canada on the following questions. So they were basically wanting the government to provide information to utility companies. Do you have any credible intelligence regarding threats or risks to the electricity industry in connection with 5G, including 5G conspiracy related theories? So if you were asking questions about 5G, and I frankly don't know enough about 5G or the concerns about it to know what even those questions are. so. <laughs> I don't mean to denigrate the questions or avoid skepticism of the questions since I don't know enough to conclude one way or the other whether they're legit or worth pursuing. But I do know, meaning asking questions about 5G and being labeled a conspiracy theorist, that sets off all the alarm bells that they are targeting Americans for data and intelligence collections based on their views on 5G. Do you think you should be able to express the view on 5G, whatever that view may be? And I don't even know what it might be. I as I said, I don't, I don't know enough about the issue. I know a little bit about it, but not enough that I'm going to start talking about it <laughs> in this forum. So it's targeting you, targeting Americans, commenting on 5G. You're the subject of intelligence operations by the U.S. government. That's wrong.
And then they go through, and I'm not going to read the actual Twitter handles because I want to, because I think these people are probably innocent of any wrongdoing, seemingly, because otherwise they'd be convicted. They were engaged in like terrorist threats against electrical grid issues, grid. But they're going through and, and going through people's Twitter's threads and reading and trying to figure out what their politics are based on their commentary on the electrical grid threats. Not good, not good at all. So it's very interesting to see what the government's up to on your dime. They're spying on you. I mean, the left complains about domestic spying and it's happening in a mass way. And of course the right does too, to a certain extent. We all should be concerned about domestic spying that is unlawful. I mean, we're not talking about people who have, there's reason to believe are acting as a, a spy and should be subject to law enforcement scrutiny. We're just talking about American social media posts. It shouldn't generate intelligence gathering typically. I mean, you shouldn't be subject to intelligence analysis by the Department of Homeland Security if you comment on 5G. And that's what these documents show was actually happening. These documents show how the deep state CEI, uh, CISA troll, agency trolls social media to snoop on Americans. For sharing First Amendment protected content. So again, this is again, uh, kind of the results of, of Judicial Watch's heavy lifting. Asking under FOIA, being patient, in this case we didn't have to sue, we got some documents, exposing government misconduct, or what I believe to be government misconduct. You can draw your own conclusions. You can go look at the documents, they're all up on our internet site. It's only five or so pages. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like our video down below.